Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a first look at Sprocket, a completely customizable tank building game where you get to design a completely customizable tank building game where you get to design your own tanks however you want, and then pit them up against some AI and hope you survive. At least that's my understanding of it so far. So let's jump in. Um, I don't know if I want to do scenarios or sandbox. Uh, I'm gonna try a scenario. I haven't tried any of these yet. Let's do railway and uh, let's see. I, I don't know if this means we're gonna have like objectives or something like that, but it looks like it starts us off with a basic tank shape. And from what I understand, you can click and drag stuff. Um, oh, it looks like I gotta click on, oh, yeah, I gotta click on turret in order to click and drag the turret here. We can essentially, oh my goodness, look at this. We can essentially customize how everything looks and we can get into even finer detail by going into these things here we can set like different angles and stuff all kinds of heights and angles so i'm gonna try to design the perfect tank is there like a is there a refresh yes there we go I'm gonna try to design an awesome battle tank and we have the ability to customize everything from the shape to the armor of all of the different sections the turret the hull um, different types of mobility from the engine, the transmission. We can have gear ratios, which is all way over my head. Uh, fuel fenders. Oh, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. You can customize the uh, caliber of your shells. Look at these cannons. The shell length, the end thickness, the start thickness, like there's all kinds of customizations we can do here. And then of course we also have color customizations as well. It looks like we have to choose from some preset ones. I was hoping to be able to make some like scrap camo. When I click this blank one, it turns red. Uh, it doesn't appear that I can customize the color. Oh, wait a minute. Hue and saturation. Oh, we could do the condition. Grime. All right, well, we can deal that stuff when we get there. Uh, as far as design goes, there is a particular image I have in mind, and that is the ultimate wedge tank. Because when it comes to receiving fire, you actually want to have a steep angles on your armor so that the bullets or the shells are more likely to ricochet off your armor rather than just sinking into it. So um, I'm going to try to build the superior wedge gang tank here. All right, so if we're going to have strong wedges in the front. I'm going to move the turret as far back as I can. And now I'm going to focus on this aspect right here. All right, so I'm going to make my tank wide. What is this? Internal space. Okay, that just increased our internal space. So I'm pretty sure all this stuff is going to impact how drivable this is. And there's probably going to be like engine, the ability of the engine to even drive this thing. So I'm pretty sure if I go too extreme, it's going to make it undrivable. But... Uh, oh, here, we, yes, here we go. That's what I'm talking about there. And what about the sides? Ooh, yeah, we're getting wedge gang now. This is, this is really, really nice. Uh, how about the back? All right, here, I'm going to make our length a little bit longer. Perfect. And that way the rear can be a little bit more wedged as well. I feel like the rear is, we're not really going to get attacked from the rear likely so i don't have to put too much wedge on the rear and what is this front offset what are we offsetting all right what are sponsons there are there are words i've never even heard of here sponsons extrusion the sponsons you know let's have these extrude a little bit more there we go slant oh what are the oh that is interesting oh we can make it even more wedge like okay that's good. I like that. Because imagine getting attacked from the front. Not only if you get hit here, it's going to get uh, deflected upwards. But then hitting on the sides here, rather than being just a flat wall, it's also going to get deflected off to the side. So I definitely approve of that. There we go. That's looking awesome. I like the way this is looking so far. All right, sorry. I, I had to turn the in-game music off because it's not fitting at all for the context of what I'm going for here. <laughs> it was way too serious. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What? Wait, what? Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. This lower. Okay. All right, that, that dramatically affects the space we have in there, but that makes sense. So we do want any shells that hits the front here to be deflected down into the ground. Oh, that is so interesting. Look at that. All right, I'm going to just leave that pretty much flat like that. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at armor. Is that... Is red bad? 
Effective thickness, 328 millimeters. Thickness, 100. Hit angle, 70. I've, is red good or is red bad? Oh, I think red is good because as I as I take this down to less and less thickness, it goes green. So I'm assuming red is just good. I don't know. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. All right, let's go to turret. This thing's looking okay so far, but we definitely want to uh, make this wedge gang approved as well. All right, so let's do front. What is cheek? Oh. You could just make things completely unreasonable if you want to. All right, I do want things to be reasonable. We're, we're reasonable here at Wedge Gang. All right, angle. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, this is gonna be so... If this works, this is gonna be so cool. All right, here, can we move this back again? We're, we want this to be back a little bit more. There we go. Side offset. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Put that back at zero, please. All right, so there's the turret design now. This is looking like an amazing wedge. I love, this is like Batmobile meets tank right now. <laughs> Batmo tank. All right, how's armor looking? Not good on the front. So let's just, let's increase. I feel like that's, this area here is gonna be the most likely to take hits. So let's just increase the thickness there. Uh, actually sides, wait, why does it change color depending on? Oh, no way. Is this adjusting how well it is going to take a shot dependent on the angle? It's it's actually using my angle of attack to tell me how well it's gonna deal with it. Because if I look flat onto this, it's green. Yeah, look at this. Effective thickness, 45 millimeters. Effective thickness, 109 millimeters here. So that, wow, that's really technical. So that's what it's gonna look like when it rotates. Interesting, but what about having the gun actually on it? I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to firepower. All right, let's look at mobility now. And now we can customize the tracks. So we can like have massive track width if we want. I want this thing to be reasonable though. This is interesting. We can adjust the length of the individual treads. Look at that, we can have super, super short treads or super, super long treads. Let's just go something that looks normal. That looks normal to me. Thickness. There's, oh, I feel like you don't even need some of these customizations. It's just letting me do it. Man, there are so many customizations that I have no idea what the impact of these even are. Like there's just, you could customize so much of the, ooh, ooh we could have a low rider. I think that that's, that, that, I actually want that customization. Whoa, yeah. Not exactly pushing buttons and seeing what happens, but I'm sliding sliders and seeing what happens. All right, I just, I'm gonna say the tracks are good. Let's go to engine, uh, basic or advanced? Let's go to basic. Severely underpowered, underpowered, under, I'm just, I'm just underpowered. Let's, how about, let's increase the power of the engine. All right, now I'm slow. I increase the number of cylinders. Uh, displacement? I don't even know what this really means. I'm not an engine per- Very fast! Okay, am I, I, am I gonna break this somehow? There's a lot of complexity with this. I feel like I shouldn't mess with this. Uh, fuel? Why wouldn't- Oh, this increases weight and space. Well, let's just go ahead and increase our fuel. Let's just head into, uh, firepower. So I guess this is where we're customizing our cannon. So we can choose a bunch of different nu or muzzles, kind of like this one. Um, so now we can adjust all kinds of stuff that I'm pretty sure are going to affect everything else about it. Tank itself though, because I kind of want to build it based off of that. Oh, here we go, gun mount. Oh, did I, I, I probably didn't actually leave myself. Ooh, that fits well, doesn't it? Well, let's see what else we got for these options. No, probably not that. Probably not that. No, probably not. Man, these are... All right, well, let's see if this one... This one probably isn't going to be able to move up or down, is it? Oh, it does. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. As we increase... Look at this. As we increase the caliber, though, it looks awesome and crazy, but our reload time goes from... Look at that. 40 second reload time, and we can't even fit. Uh, we don't have enough space anyway to fit that. I don't know what the ammo settings are, so I'm just gonna leave them by default. All right, so now I can place my gunner sights. I don't have a lot of, it looks like the only options I really have are next to the gun here. So I'm gonna go with right there. All right, now we need a driver's port is the only essential that we need. Is this a driver's port? Ah, that was the driver's port. Okay. I guess this other stuff isn't essential, but we could probably add it for uh, aesthetic purposes. Does this change like the weight or anything? Doesn't appear so. I guess I could put some crew hatches in the back here. 
Let's slap some antennas down. Ooh, look at this stuff. There's some fun stuff you can add to these things. Put some tools in the back. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Anti-infantry. Oh, we can have like a smaller gunner. Oh, you can change the scale of these and everything. Okay, that's interesting because I thought these felt a little bit too big. But if I put this right there, I mean, theoretically, that gun should be able to aim upwards. Yeah, let's just have that like that. Now we can add some other cool design elements on this thing just for some aesthetics. All right, now let's find an appropriate paint job for this thing. I mean, I feel like if we're gonna take this map into account, this one's kind of nice. Should we go for this? Win the battle. Oh, I see my quest now. Win the battle. All right, what kind of decals? I guess uh, let's let's stick a sprocket decal on here that kind of fits the channel too, right in the front there. All right, let's hope this thing is functional. I guess I uh, I can name it Scrap Tank and save it. All right, let's click play button. All right, here we are. Well, I can drive. Um, I don't seem to be able to turn, and why is my gun aiming down like that? I'm, I'm a li oh, now I can turn. Okay, oh my goodness, this is kind of terrible. What, what's wrong with my gun? I don't know how to aim up or down. Oh, I think there's an issue here with our mass of the cannon. I think the cannon can't support its own weight. Ah, there we go. Yeah, our center of mass was off. I think that's what happened. So yeah, as, you see, as I change things, this blue line changes, and the blue line was too far forward, which means that our gun was too heavy. All right, now we can aim this thing. All right, but how's our control? All right, we're getting fired at though, so let's try to fire back here. I don't know how we're, okay, and I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know what happened. All right, I think our turret is way too under armored. All right, there we go. I believe we're a lot better armored now. So, all right, now let's actually try to fight. Hopefully I can control this thing all right. There we go. The actual, yeah, the controls seem to be doing a little bit better now. All right, where are these guys? We have to win the battle, apparently. Okay, I see one over there. I thought I saw one over there. Oh yeah, there he is. I have no idea how the bullet drop is on this. Okay. Oh, I have like 12 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get some cover while we're reloading. Let me see, get the rest of the field. Oh boy, it's, wow, it looks like they're like right there, but this mound is actually protecting me pretty well. All right, there's a guy in front of me though. Where is he? There he is. Oh, is there a guy? Oh, there's a guy right in front of me. Turn, 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 turn. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can fire at him. Did we hit him? I don't think we hit him. Man, we gotta wait so long. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. They can reload much faster than I can, I'm realizing. All right, one. Oh, and now, of course, as soon as I get my weapon ready, he's undercover. All right, here we go. I can't tell if I hit him. All right, I'm waiting. This reloading is way, way too long. We really have to cut down on the reload time. Okay, reload time, 11 seconds. That is just unacceptable. All right, yeah, let's go down to like sub five seconds, just like that. All right, now we should be able to fire much, much quicker. I don't know how many tanks there are. All right, there's one right over there. Let's go ahead and aim in that direction. All right, ready? Oh, I think that was a hit. I can hear someone shooting at me. I don't know who. There we go. That was definitely a hit. Come on. All right, this fast reloading is much more fun. All right, and I'm getting hit from right over there. All right, let's go ahead and back up, defend ourselves. All right, he can't see me much anymore. There we go. Oh, right over him. Dang it. Man, how are you supposed to win this? Oh, what? There we go. All right, I'm just like right out in the open now with this guy. Come on, reload. I don't know how many shots it's gonna take to kill one though. Or how am I even, oh, I guess if I kill him, he's gonna have all that stuff. But there we go. I think that's a kill. All right, we got a kill. Excellent. 
Alright, it looks like he might be a big threat to me right now. Oh yeah, he is. Alright. There we go. Alright, I'm just trying to keep moving. Oh, he got me over there. Really? Four tanks against one, though, at least? All right, let me see if I can add some more armor now. We definitely tanked more shots that time after messing with the armor. I mean, this, look, this actually looks really, really nice for the most part. Yeah, the lower armor was not doing that great, it looks like. There we go. Let's just bump this stuff up. All right, let's try that now. All right, I'm starting to see some tanks. Whoa, he's already taking shots. I'm taking shots too. Whoa, I don't know where I'm getting shot from right now. Come on. I don't know if that's a good hit or not. Oh, and he's going down below the ravine there. Come on. Oh, oh I'm getting shot right from the left there. Oh, man, I moved right when I tried to shoot. That was not good for me. Oh, how's this guy not dead yet? I'm getting pinged all over right now. I'm, I'm dead any second now. How is that not a hit? All right, yeah, that hill is definitely saving me over here. Ooh. I felt like that should have been a kill shot there. I had his uh, soft underbelly exposed to me. Oh, man, he's going to take a kill shot right now. Oh, I'm surprised he missed that. I don't know what the weak spot is. Should I be aiming there or should I be aiming for the turret? I feel like I'm getting killed on the turret with one shots. I've hit that guy so many times, though. Maybe the turret is the uh, the most protected spot. He's just approaching me. Oh man, I'm just getting hit all over the place right now. I am so dead. What is going on right now? Oh no. How am I taking so many more shots now? I didn't think I raised my armor that much compared to what it was. Oh, is he dead? His engine's dead now. There's five tanks? Look at this though. Ooh, I hit his treads. Look at that, his treads are done. Let's go for that tread now. Ooh, there we go. All right, I feel like I'm just, I'm just deflecting all of the shots. Can he still shoot at me? Yeah, he can still shoot at me. I can't believe how much I'm tanking right now. I mean, I am a tank. <laughs> I just want to get another one of these guys down. I don't know where I'm supposed to be shooting. Oh man, my turret is acting really wi- Oh, they killed each other! Alright, where do I shoot? I see. I see where to shoot now, no way. Alright, I'm protected from that tank, I'm pretty sure. So let me just try to get this guy now. I think I need to shoot- Is he shooting at me anymore? Or is he disabled? He's not shooting at me, it's just this one guy left. Okay. Ready for this? Alright, there's his tread. Okay, let's see if I can get right in between his turret there. I don't even know if I hit him or if I hit the other tank. All right, what about right there? I don't know what I'm doing right now. All right, hold on. Let's move in this direction. Man, I'm so close to, I think, actually winning. I don't know, though. Oh, <gasps> I did it. I actually won. I just 1v5 some tanks. Well, in case you were wondering what the superior tank design is, I think obviously the wedge with absolute buffed up armor is the design to go with. I was just deflecting shots all over the place. I cannot believe how many shots I took, but it does seem like this section right here, the ring, seems to be the vulnerable spot for these tanks. Well, that is my first look at Sprocket. If you'd like to see another episode of this, let me know down in the comments below. It seems like although it gives you crazy freedom to just shape the tank however you want, you're vastly limited by the impact it's going to have on the practicality of using your tank when it comes to the engine and the center of mass for the gun and all this stuff. All that stuff factors into how much or how usable your tank's actually going to be. So you can't just create a ridiculously shaped physics breaking tank and not expect physics to actually break. But the wedge tank I think was perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman and I'll see you next time. Bye.